Understanding eSIM technology is essential for modern iPhone users. An eSIM is a digital SIM card that's embedded directly into your iPhone, completely eliminating the need for a physical SIM card. Starting with iPhone 14 and later models sold in the United States, Apple has made a significant change. These newer iPhones exclusively use eSIM technology with no physical SIM card slot at all. Apple's quick transfer feature, available on iOS 16 and later, revolutionizes how you move your phone service to a new iPhone. This feature allows you to transfer your Verizon phone number directly from your old iPhone to your new one without needing to contact Verizon customer service. Before you can use Quick Transfer, there are several important prerequisites you need to meet. Both iPhones must be signed in to the same Apple ID, have Bluetooth enabled, and be connected to Wi-Fi. Here's what the actual iPhone settings look like. You can see the Bluetooth settings where you need to ensure Bluetooth is enabled and discoverable for the transfer process. Similarly, you need to ensure both devices are connected to Wi-Fi. This Wi-Fi settings screen shows a successful connection, which is essential for the eSIM transfer process. The My Verizon app plays a central role in managing your eSIM. While Quick Transfer can work automatically, the My Verizon app provides additional control and troubleshooting options for your eSIM management needs. There are four main ways to transfer your Verizon eSIM to your new iPhone. Each method works in different situations, so choose the one that fits your needs. Method one is quick start, used during initial iPhone setup. Turn on your new iPhone and place it near your old one. Both devices will detect each other automatically. Method two uses the settings app after setup is complete. On your new iPhone, go to settings, then cellular, then add eSIM, and select transfer from nearby iPhone. Method three uses the My Verizon app. Download the app on your new iPhone, log into your account, navigate to devices, and select the device you want to transfer the eSIM to. Method four uses a QR code from Verizon. Contact Verizon support to request an eSIM QR code, then scan it using your iPhone's camera in the cellular settings. If you encounter issues during transfer, try these troubleshooting steps. Restart both iPhones, ensure you have a stable Wi-Fi connection, and make sure both devices are signed into the same Apple ID. Some users report difficulties with dual eSIM setups, so be prepared for potential complications.